Hey everyone, it's Maria. I may look a little different today because I'm actually um, wearing makeup and stuff. So, uh, yeah. So today I'm going to do a blog on, you know, body issues. And, you know, it's a, it's a common thing that, you know, women struggle with. And um, I myself go through it every day. And um, I just really wanted to talk to all the girls out there, you know, um, just you know, just, I guess, you have to be happy, um, with yourself, and, um, just know that your personality is great, and if people say anything about your weight, then it's like, you know what, nobody's born a size two, or whatever, um, I myself, I'm not skinny, I am not a size two, um, I don't even know what size I am, because I really don't like looking at tags when I buy clothing, I just, look at it. If it's big enough, I'll try it on. Um, I'm a little embarrassed. I am embarrassed. I know I'm plus size. I don't know what size I am exactly, but, um, you know, it's hard to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis because a lot of people give you rag if you're not, I guess, a standard size. Um, I get it a lot from my parents. I get a lot from f some friends. Um, but you know what? At this point, I don't care anymore. Um, I live my life. I'm happy. Um, my husband doesn't care. I mean, we've been married for three years, been together for like five, four or five. He's going to kill me for not remembering that. But um, the point is, is that like, you can't, you can't listen to what people say. And if you live the rest of your life listening to people, it's only going to get you down. And, um... There are a lot of people who actually are successful in life, even though they're not a size zero or a size two or whatever, and um, they live them, their lives for themselves. And, you know, yes, I'm big. Would I lose weight? Yes, definitely. Um, I don't want to be skinny, but I want to be healthy. I don't want to be... 100 pounds overweight like I am right now because my doctor says that I have to lose 100 pounds and for me that that was a devastating blow to hear because no one wants to be told that they're obese and for my body type my frame my height and everything um I really shouldn't be the weight that I am so if I lose weight I'm not gonna go full out and say okay I have to lose the full hundred pounds or whatever I'm gonna lose the most that I can lose I'm gonna make sure that I'm healthy if my blood sugar is okay my cholesterol is okay um you know everything's okay then I'm fine. I don't need to be 120 pounds or whatever. I, um, I'm i okay with how I am now. Um, it bothers me just a bit that I can't buy clothes that I want all the time. I see something I like and then it doesn't fit me. Um, but you know what? I don't let it get me down. There's stores around here that cater to plus size. They have fantastic clothes. Um, I shop at Voluptuous. I love Voluptuous. Um, you know, so, I mean, I'm not at this point where I'm so depressed where, oh my god, I, I hate myself. Because, um, I learned over the years of self-hating. It doesn't do you any good. You just put yourself into a bigger rut and you let yourself get so down and so depressed and so miserable that you can't live your life fully. And you have to remember that life is fragile. You don't know when anything's going to happen. You could say, oh, you know what? My grandfather lived till 80. I'm going to live till, I'm probably going to live till 80 too. Because you could be healthy, but something else can get to you. Car accident, um, you know, falling downstairs or just something. You know, so you have to take care of yourself. You do have to be um, a little active in taking care of yourself, but you don't have to be overboard. Like, you don't have to be skinny to be perfect. Just be healthy, you know? And that's my greatest advice to women out there who are plus size like me. Um, you know, don't let yourself be bothered or be down by what people say or how you feel don't feel like that 
like I felt my whole life like this. I've always been overweight, but I'm at this point now, 24 years old. I want to be something in life. I want to do something in life, and I don't want my weight, and I don't want people, what people say about my weight to stop me from doing all of this. So um, that's actually one reason why I never posted videos on YouTube is because of my weight. I didn't want people to say, well, you're fat, or you're ugly, um, why are you wearing makeup, or you have to wear makeup because you're you know you look like that so um, at this point I just don't care if people want to watch it they watch it and if they say that I'm fat they say that I'm fat but um, you know my my advice is just be happy just live for yourself everything happens for a reason just be healthy you know um, just make sure that at least you eat healthy or you try to get a little bit of exercise no one's telling you go to the gym um, being healthy is more for you it's not about being thin or looking a certain way or doing it for someone else you're doing it for you and if you are on a mission to lose weight I support you ladies a hundred percent because losing weight can be a good thing I mean it is a good thing you know to be healthy but um, you know if you're struggling and you need the motivation do what makes you happy if you have a reason or if you have a goal to lose that weight do it if you're happy in your skin and you're happy this size that you're at if you're a size 6 or a size 12 or 24 whatever be happy and be proud of who you are because you're somebody and you live your life for you. So my advice to you ladies is just that, be happy. And um, I have a question for you guys. What is one thing about yourself, physically, that you do not like, that you wish you could change? Would you change it or not? Um, for me, I don't like how heavy my eyelids are. I really would like to get a, like a brow lift you know like just have my brows lifted a little um I don't like my double chin but you know who usually likes that um but you know what I wouldn't go under the knife I wouldn't risk it so tell me ladies what do you guys like dislike about yourself what would you do what have you done have you lost any weight that you wanted to what was your biggest goal just chat with me. Tell me something. Tell me something that makes you proud that you've done. Tell me if you're comfortable in your skin. Just tell me. I want to know. So um, it's all about loving yourself. <laughs> so talk about anything. So um, yeah, anyways, this is my blog for today and um, I will see you lovely ladies later. Thank you for subscribing. I really want to thank you guys tremendously for subscribing. You guys are the best, okay? Love you guys. Bye.